there's a fairly new thing going around the crypto space and it's called airdrops. And if you want free money and you want a lot of free money, airdrops is one way to get that free money. Today, I'm going to go over a long list of why you should be getting airdrops and also why you should be very cautious of getting airdrops. So pay attention, guys. I think you're going to enjoy this video. First off, what's an airdrop? I'm going to be honest with you, unless you're pretty versed in the crypto space, airdrops can be pretty confusing. So you are not going to be some newbie going to walk into and stumble into too many airdrops. Now, every once in a while you can, which we will get into, but airdrops are simply a, basically a new project that's launching and wants to get its tokens out to its community members and they want to drop you a bunch of free stuff. Now, you're thinking to yourself, well, it's free. Why would I want, why would, how is free stuff going to help me? It's always bull crap, right? Well, in some cases it is in this case, it's not always, but it still can be. So you've still got to protect yourself. But what these projects or these protocols are trying to do is trying to get out their tokens to their community so it can ramp up the price and it can make the price action higher because basically it has a bunch of soldiers us doing work for it as in buying and selling and trading because we want the project to go up because that means our tokens are worth more which means our airdrop is worth more which means we got more money in our wallet for free you understand uniswap everybody knows uniswap uniswap made the airdrop famous am i right in 2020 they decided to bring those little bombers over boop, drop a bunch of people airdrops and make a bunch of them rich i'm talking five six seven figures rich yes you heard that correctly people are now making their living off of just making airdrops every year and kind of chasing the next big airdrop i don't necessarily suggest that but i do suggest you should probably get on on this space because it is so early and it is becoming a new thing and a big thing for most protocols like in the uniswap days when it first started no one really knew what it was but uniswap was just dropping out all these tokens because they wanted to get it out to their community there is some tax things in there i'm pretty sure and some things about being able to sell it and the sec not liking it so dropping the tokens does obviously help the protocol as well but they were basically dropping free stimulus $1,200 checks out to everybody who was already staked or already in their Uniswap protocol. Well, Colin, you're not telling us all that much. How do you get these free airdrops, bro? The first way to get it is simply using that protocol or using uh, things around it or getting on their blockchain or using other things with it. And, and they can just give you free tokens to your wallet. And you obviously know this because typically the more you use it, the more airdrops you're going to get or the more of the token you have that is allowing you to stake or whatever it may be. Again, the more air, the bigger airdrop you could potentially have. And it doesn't always work that way, which we'll go over. But that's one way to get it. The second way to get it is you just randomly have a certain amount of, of token or project on your wallet from a blockchain that's going to be giving these airdrops so for example if you have so much ada sitting in your wallet at this point in time basically an airdrop is going to come by and boom and drop you some i don't know if it's based it's not always based off how much you have how much you don't have sometimes it's randomized sometimes it's based on the amount you actually do hold in your wallet but again when the airdrop happens though they're yours you don't have to keep them there you don't have to do anything you just take that free money you go to your decentralized bank decentralized bank does that even make any sense and you drop it on them the third way is a snapshot it's very similar to kind of the first two and it kind of mixes them together but basically you're going to have a certain amount staked kind of like we did on sunday swap we staked our ada into a pool which gave us staking rewards but it also made us eligible for the snapshot sunday swap airdrop and what that means is now it's over it ended yesterday so now no matter what they took a snapshot of our wallet and our wallet addresses on march 1st they're going to airdrop us whatever that may be hopefully it's a million dollars hopefully it's a million dollars it may not be a million dollars but if it is a million dollars that's awesome no and, and you just you sit there and you wait for your sunday swap tokens and the sunday swap tokens could be huge because sunday swap is gaining a lot of momentum it's on the cardano blockchain and it's got a lot of promise with it so those sunday swap tokens could eventually be worth a a good amount of money before i go on any further i do want to pump the brakes a little bit am i right there are some risks to airdrops and you do need to know them and this would not be a complete video if i didn't tell you about them number one there's scammers everywhere there are scammers everywhere that will take your money it is the crypto space do not put yourself in a position to send your money your hard-earned money your staking whatever it is and get it all taken by some scammer because they will take it and they will not think twice and they will not care about you we at the crypto boys care about you so stop 
doing that, make sure you check everything you do, double, triple, quadruple, check it, okay? And whatever comes after quadruple, just Cinco check it. Check it again and again and again. Make sure you're sending it to the right place in the right pool. Another risk is the pump and dump scheme. Yes, the pump and dump scheme, we hear it all the time. Basically what happens is, you know, if Colin makes up this uh, coin called the uh, doo-doo coin and I pump it to the moon, I get a bunch of good projects on it, or, you know, projects on it. I get a bunch of good uh, publicity on it and then I throw a bunch of marketing dollars and I hold 51% or uh, some super high amount of the tokens and then as soon as that airdrop happens, everybody gets dropped their coins and it's all hyped up. It's sell. It's huge. Everybody's talking about it. I sell it all. And you know what? I sold it all because I know it's crap. And then I just go into the wind. I got a bunch of money. I'm sitting on a beach somewhere, probably in St. John, and I'm drinking my pina colada with all my money that I stole from you. So don't do that. Don't be an idiot. Next up is the dusting attack. Basically, where they can take a very small trace amounts of Bitcoin that can't really be used for anything, and they can de-anonymize you and take and and your wallets. And when they do that, they can then take that little bit of change that adds up over and over and over and over and over again. Typically, to avoid a dusting attack, you really got to pay really close attention to what's in your wallet and when. And also, I think they're thinking about moving up the dusting attack fees so that that doesn't happen as much. Finally, the last thing you need to, you need to realize is that even if you get into an airdrop situation where you're like hey i'm rich baby boy we going clubbing all right well wait a second you might you might not be going clubbing as much as you think if you've ever heard shaquille o'neal's speech about how he spent his first like million dollars on his dad's car his car his mom's house his mom's car and then he's like oh I spent five hundred and fifty thousand dollars, right? I've still got four hundred and fifty thousand left. Yeah, but this thing called Uncle Sam comes in, and it's called taxes. So no, you actually just spent more money than you actually have there, Shaq. So his financial advisor got on him. That's funny. Same thing with airdrops. You still, even if you get free airdrops in your wallet and you didn't even want them, you still got to pay taxes on them. So you've got to be very careful because you got to pay income taxes on that. The IRS doesn't mess around. Uncle Sam don't mess around. They're coming for you, and they're coming for your money and your airdrops. So make sure you're smart. If you get an airdrop, be like, oh, this is too good to be true. Pay the tax on it. Chill out. Make good decisions. And everything will be just fine. Story time. Good story time about an airdrop. My buddy Tanner, he's been in crypto. Longest guy I know. Smart. He's, a, he's a chemical engineer. He is the smartest dude I know. And uh, he's been doing a lot of airdropping. He did the meld airdrop. Tried to get me to do it. I said, Tanner, I don't believe you. I ain't doing it. And I, I regret my decision. But neither here nor there. He did the meld airdrop, which we got a video coming out on meld soon. We'll talk about that later. But the meld airdrop, what had happened was, is that he was was in was in this airdrop for a while. He took it out as soon as the airdrop was done. It was like four or five months later. He just got sixty grand worth of meld tokens dropped into his account. Boom, could sell it right now that day. And he's going to hold on to it because meld has a, a super high ceiling for where they could go. Again, we'll go over that project later. But that is the uh, possibility of airdrop if you're ahead. One thing I haven't mentioned yet, and I'm saving it towards the end of this video because it's very important, is you have to be early. If you are not early, you're not going to get the biggest rewards, you're not going to get enough of the rewards, and you're not going to be on time to do a lot of these things. So you have to be early in the space. You've got to be looking them up. How to find these things, airdrops.io, airdropalert.com, Twitter, your friends, Crypto Boys YouTube channel, other YouTube channel. I mean, Vosscoin came out with a great video. Max Mayer came out with a phenomenal airdrop video. So I suggest looking at every all the resources you can to figure it out. A couple projects I'm looking into. Number one is Genius Yield. I've got Genius Yield pulled up right here in front of us. You can see that the uh, seed uh, sale ended November 1st. The ISPO launch was December 15th. But the ISPO doesn't end until June 15th. So you still have some time to get in there and hopefully get some airdrops to your wallet. The second project I'm looking at is Metadex. Metadex, I think, could be a big, huge project uh, for on the Cardano blockchain. It's something that I, I would be interested in to getting a bunch of those tokens because eventually I think they could go really high. The last and final thing I want to go over is that you have to believe in these projects. The crypto space didn't change overnight as far as like, oh, airdrops is a new way. I just get free money. Yay. No, it's not exactly true. Okay. You need to calm your stuff down. You still got to believe in the projects. You still got to understand where the projects are coming from. If the project doesn't have any utility to it, if the project is um, over 
overhyped. If the project is too expensive when you're first getting into it, it's probably not for you. It's probably not going to be a great project for you to get in. So you, everything still applies. Rug pulls, pump and dumps, all that stuff still applies. You have got to choose the right project for your airdrops, for your staking, for your money. Otherwise, you're going to be disappointed. Because what happens also is that people sp spend all this money, all these times in the protocols, all these times in the blockchain, playing their games, waiting for these massive airdrops. Either they get way less airdrops than they think. They'll spend hours and hours and hours trying to get these airdrops. They'll get dropped like, you know, three, 300 bucks in airdrop when they thought they were going to get $30,000 in airdrop tokens, or they just don't get any at all. And they get screwed when the tokens come out and they realize that eh, this is kind of a rug pull and the website goes down and glitches start happening. So you still got to be careful. You always have to protect yourself. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is what I'm doing. Uh, I, I do feel comfortable in a couple nice big projects coming up on ADA to get um, some airdrops and potentially get some, you know, big time free money. Remember guys, the crypto boys always have your back. We do appreciate you guys always rocking with the fittest crypto channel on YouTube. I'm out.